The key to financial success for anybody is knowing their value. Money is just a stand-in for what we value. And so if you wanna make more money, you need to add more value. Whether you're in business or an employee, the key to making more money, and I honestly don't know that many people who don't wanna make more money, you need to know your worth and ask for it. No one will ever value you more than you value yourself. So how do we wire in our self-worth so that we earn accordingly? I'm Kate Northrup, author of Money, A Love Story, and in today's episode of Financial Freedom, I'm gonna give you three strategies for valuing yourself more so you can make more money. I'm about to give you those three strategies I promised you, but first I wanna tell you a quick story. In my early 20s, when I went into business, I didn't really get it how valuable I was. Now, granted, I was pretty young and I didn't have that much experience under my belt to prove my worth to myself. I found myself in a business relationship that started to make me feel like I was shrinking and like I wasn't valuing myself enough because I wasn't making as much money as I thought I deserved. It wasn't until I stepped it up in terms of valuing myself that my income finally went up in relationship to the amount I was A, taking myself seriously, B, thinking I was enough, and C, valuing myself. So here are the three simple strategies you can use to wire in your self-worth so that you can increase your bottom line. Number one, go back in time. When have you really rocked it in your life? Was it your killer valedictorian speech? Was it the gorgeous dance performance you gave in college? Was it the moment that you made the most amazing cupcakes for your child's birthday? Whatever it is, make a list of those accomplishments and those shining moments when you really felt proud of yourself and you really felt worthy. And then any time you need to increase your rates or you need to boost your self-confidence, go back and read over that list of the times that you've rocked in your life. Because if you've done it in the past, you know you can do it again. We did it before and we can do it again. Strategy number two, create a praise file. Every time you get an email of gratitude, every time you get a compliment, every time you receive a thank you note or a testimonial for your work, put them in a file both electronically and physically for physical stuff about praise for you. Now, ideally we wanna wire ourselves to not need outside praise in order to feel good about ourselves, but especially at first, you're gonna need that outside validation. Going back over thank you notes from people, over testimonials and over emails of gratitude will make you feel better about yourself and it'll remind you how amazing you are and how very worthy you are. Strategy number three, practice noticing your value every day. Our culture really doesn't celebrate us tooting our own horns and celebrating how awesome we are, but you can do it in the confines of your own mind and heart. Every night before bed, write down three things you value about yourself and or three ways you added value in the world that day. The practice of paying attention to your value will increase your ability to not only see how valuable you are, but also to add more value every day. And when you add value to other people's lives, guess what? You get paid more. If you wanna make more money, you have to add more value. And in order to add more value, you have to know you're worth it in the first place. Use these three strategies for increasing your self-worth every day, and you can look forward to reaping the rewards financially and otherwise. If you liked this video, like it below and share it with your friends on social media. Also, be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another episode. And if you want access to other videos on Financial Freedom Friday, to my show Glimpse TV, and to other blog posts that I share and insights over email, go over to katenorthrop.com and enter your name and email so you'll never miss a message. Thanks so much for tuning in to Financial Freedom Friday, and I'll see you next week. <music>